It is a beautiful, cold, sunny winter's day on the farm here. It's definitely cooled down over the last couple days. Mornings are about minus seven right now. Uh, yesterday I had King and Thor on the farm. We uh, we started milling, which is really exciting. Uh, for about four months. Thor has a Lucas mill behind me here and we like to use mostly ponderosa pine that's what we find in our area so we have a bunch of logs here in the back but that, that's what we do most of our construction with on the farm so when we got usually some 12 footers 14 feet those are awesome for construction so we've built everything behind here and all of our existing buildings as well that's all Thor's milled wood so we're going to be working on an extension to this building this is lab two and I have all of this wood that we worked on yesterday so I'm just gonna go over the the design of the new building and kind of what to expect and that's coming up so yesterday we put in a full day we uh, probably started around I want to say 10 o'clock took us about an hour and a half to kind of dig this all out this was all buried by snow and ice so it was a lot of, a lot of work to kind of get it prepped and started but once uh, once we started milling, it went pretty quick. We went through probably, I didn't count, but I would say at least seven, six to seven logs is what you're looking at right here. So for, for the building, we're gonna be building an extension back here. So I'm just gonna bring you guys behind lab two. So the reason why we're expanding is that we don't have enough incubation space to maximize the potential capacity of our greenhouse grow rooms. So if we're going to uh, increase sales and pick up more restaurants this year, this is something that we need to do. So we've decided that instead of building these small modular labs, it's probably better to have more of a central lab. So we're gonna do an extension off of lab two here and there'll probably be two or three stages over the next uh, three to five years and we can just continue on with incubation but we're gonna have a central lab that is right in this area this is the back door of lab two here so the central lab will be right here we'll have three flow hoods uh, right where that tree is and we're going to be able to wheel in our sterilized substrate, inoculate it right here, and move everything in the back and incubate. And right now we're working on designing some uh, mobile shelves and we're, we're contemplating on do we want to design this ourselves? Do we want to source out some shelves? I've been talking to Brad Coons, a buddy of mine in Ontario and he's got a couple ideas from a couple chinese suppliers for some metal shelves uh king my investor he brought this yesterday this is on sale right now from princess auto and this is a thousand pound capacity shelf and we're possibly thinking about modifying this because we don't want to buy extra extra shelves and these don't have holes in it. And for incubating mushroom blocks, you wanna have air spaces so that they don't over overheat. But we were thinking about doing something with this angle iron and possibly modifying some shelves. This already comes with the, the five inch casters, which can be expensive. And the alternative is, is we're talking about doing uh, maybe our, our own custom base with some casters, and then we're gonna frame some wood on. So we got a couple options. But that is $160. Otherwise, we're looking at getting something in from China, and that might be $300 a shelf. If we make it ourselves, if we get a good deal on the metal frame, framing in the rest with wood is not going to be a big deal. So it really just kind of comes to how much money we want to spend. For this year, we really only need probably 10 shelves on one side this this new incubation space this building is going to be 40 feet and 12 feet is going to be dedicated to the new lab right here and then we're going to have uh, 28 feet of incubation space 
which we can fit if we do decide to do shelves we can fit uh, 22 uh, 24 inch wide and I believe they're about six feet tall shelves and that can fit something like 2,000 2,400 or 2,500 blocks in in this space with the mobile shelves compared to our standalone shelves which are in here and I think we only can fit about uh, maybe I want to say 1300 blocks because we don't util utilize the floor that's wasted space but we also have wasted space in between where we have these studs so the mobile shelves are, are going to give us a lot more capacity but they're also going to save us a lot of labor so right now we're walking right now we're walking from the lab the inoculated blocks into the incubation room shelving we have to actually have to climb up these shelves to to load but also climb up the shelves to unload whereas with the mobile shelf we'll be able to take it and go out the door and just kind of put it at the doorway and unload we'll be able to inoculate with those shelves in the lab fill it and then roll it into place in the incubation so it's going to save us a lot of time for for loading and unloading so anyways that's kind of going off topic but that's the the the, the main focus of how we want to design this right now, the building's going to be 12 feet wide, just like this. We have cut these 4x8 studs for, uh, for holding the building together. So we're going to do, uh, those are 6 feet apart, 12 feet wide, and they're mounted on pyramid blocks. So I'm going to contact Summerline Excavating probably in the next week or two, assuming we get rid of some of the snow. And we're going to dig all the way to pad 7 down there. We're going to dig to ground level at the bottom of this pyramid block. So we're actually going to dig and remove quite a bit of dirt. And this, this whole space here is going to be level to the bottom base of that pyramid block. And then it's really just setting the pyramid blocks in and getting everything to the right height. We can use a laser level for that. And then it's framing in with these four by eights. These four by eights are 14 feet long. So we only need three uh, per row. And then we are framing in the floor with these two by eights. So we have I think something like 33 of these cut right now. So that, that'll, that'll frame in this whole edge here. But then we also have floor joists, which are a foot and a half in between, center to center. So it's something like uh, 29 of those will we'll do 40 feet. So that's the first step. That's hopefully gonna be completed in I don't know, 14, 20 days. That might be a little bit ambitious. After that, uh, we're either gonna get some three quarter inch ply, or we're gonna probably mill some really thin one by fours and go across the floor joists. And then if we want, we can put some OSB. You guys can see what Thor did here. So actually, it wouldn't be my mistake. It wouldn't be a one by, fours that looks like one and a half by eight is what he did so that's what the floor is and then right underneath there is osb for the floor so that's the first step and then actually framing up the walls should go up pretty quick that's going to be all two by six again all thor's wood and then you can see we have a metal tin up there we're not sure how we're going to connect the two roofs coming down here but the new building is going to be connected to lab two. So we'll be able to we'll be able to still use the existing flow hood in here. We'll be able to inoculate and then we will if this lab is full, then we're gonna roll our movable shelves up to this door, load it, and then wheel them down into new incubation. That's probably how we're gonna run it today. Or sorry, this year. And you know, if, if time 
if time is there then we'll get this lab functional this year but really all we're focused about right focused on right now is having increased incubation space because that's going to allow these greenhouses to generate the money that they can and then if we can do that we have the option to put up greenhouse six and greenhouse seven right away just at the end down there all right guys well that's just a quick update um, i'm going to be working with thor in the next in the next hour or so and we're going to be milling hopefully at least three or four more logs today it's pretty cold and uh it's holiday monday today so we're not looking to put in a full day today thor works a lot so that's what he wants to do so i'm, I'm at the mercy of what he would like to do today i'm just gung-ho to work because i'm so excited to get this going but i'll keep you guys posted on on what's going on i have my first student arriving february 26 from texas so possibly we might have this excavated and, and start laying down the pyramid blocks with her if uh, if she's gung-ho to do some construction which i hope she is because you know, as, as, as much hard work it is, it is to do construction, all of this is really valuable experience. And I, I do encourage my students to get involved with this. When I, when I partnered with Thor, I actually didn't know anything about construction. And this was all, uh, this was all really new to me. But once I started doing it, I, I really value all the, all the experience and all the hard work it is to put up buildings like this. And I could, I'm at the point now, I've been, this is going to be our third building. Um, I could probably put this up myself, but I'm really busy. <laughs> I, I have a whole mushroom farm to run and I have a lot of students that we take in every week. So my time is, uh, is stretched, but I, I'm very fortunate to have uh, a really good partner and uh, a really awesome involved investor who want to see this farm succeed. And they both love construction. So anyways, guys, that's all for now. Keep you guys updated. I gotta get to work. We'll talk to you soon.